Good morning, guys. Welcome to Monday. We are back at it, back at homeschool. I found it. Unfortunately, the kids are probably not as excited as I am. <laughs> I found it and dropped. All right, get going. Keep going. <laughs> uh, is that uh, both girls are doing language. I underlined it so I could find it again. All right, we'll get a dictionary if is you need a dictionary. Drop. Let me see. I think you're wrong. You need to get a dictionary. Get that dictionary right there. I All right, let me ask our friends. Give me the word. Let's challenge our viewers. Hydrophobia. What is the root word of hydrophobia? And I probably repels water. <laughs> that's Here. the definition, Gabby. Hydro. Here. Hydro. Ew, that's a fly. Hydro. Hydro. The dogs like to eat flies. It's the weirdest Hydro. thing. I can't believe you just fed your dog a fly on camera. That's they disgusting. They kill the flies. I know. They, they all try and kill the flies and eat them. Okay, back to school. I think I challenge your answer on that one, and I think it is... Hydrophobia. Hydro. Yeah. It's the root word. No, I think no, hydro no, is, the, water. is the prefix. It's hydro. I think, I don't it's know. I had to look it up in the answer book. I wrote repelling water. Even though phobia is scared. It's scared of water, so it's repelling water. Wow. Hydro. What's the root word it's from hydrophobia? Phobia. Okay, this phobia is. Phobia is more common. All right, so here's the thing. You are not allowed to use your phone. She has to use the dictionary sitting right beside her book. But for this one, we're going to find out what the answer is. What is the root word? Her actual book says to look them up in the dictionary if That's you have trouble. Well, we have dictionaries on our phone. Lessons to search by just typing it in. Learn how to spell it. That's how you say it. All right, what is the root word? Oh, I'm going to go get the answer book. One thing I love about having curriculum like this is that it has answer books, teacher books. Hang on. But what comment below. I hate the... theory. Wait, what is the root word? Root. Of hydrophobia. Hydrophobia. <laughs> Something you never thought you would he see on a day by day vlog is this is what we do at a school. random trivia question. What we do at school. Take hydro meaning water and phobia meaning fear and you have hydrophobia. Fear what? I think I drop. So it has two root words? What? What the? I think. I think it's drop. I, mean, I no, don't. Not. Hydrophobe? Is that it? No, that's not even a word. Hydrophobe? No, it's like saying. What is the root yeah. word of hydrophobia? Anyway, welcome to today. Today is Sam's birthday. And something that I forgot to tell you guys on the weekend. So, what I forgot to tell you guys is that this little girl, this beautiful little dog, is. 14 years old now. She had her birthday on Saturday. On Saturday was her 14th birthday and she is still doing okay. She has some struggles that she never had before. She can't climb the stairs very well. She can because she does sometimes, but she doesn't do it all the time. She definitely is not her old self. Little dogs tend to age a lot more smoothly than bigger dogs and she is holding her own, but I know she won't reach 15. I've dreamt it. I believe it. I know it to be true, but she is 14 years old. Interesting fact about Macy. Long ago, when I was trying to have another baby, I think I maybe told you guys this story before, but long ago, Gabby was my youngest of four, and Sam and I wanted to try and have another baby before I got too old. And it was the first time that we actually suffered from infertility, was between our fourth baby and our fifth baby. And it took me 11 months to get pregnant with Sophie. And at the end of trying to get pregnant, I was like, I felt this need for a puppy. I just felt this desire and this need for a puppy. Uh, so anyways, we ended up getting this puppy. It was a puppy that I dreamed about and wanted and I picked it and Sam bought it for me for Christmas. After we got Macy, I read that oftentimes when someone gets a puppy, they become pregnant soon after. And I think it has to do with like hormones. Certain hormones that make you crave a puppy are also the hormones that you have in your body that, that, make you want a baby. So we picked Macy up in December. She was 12 weeks old and we got her for Christmas. We got her a little bit earlier than, than, than Christmas day. And I got pregnant in January. <laughs> so if you're out there and you're struggling to have a baby, get a puppy. No, I'm just kidding. Obviously it's not always that simple, but that was a fun, interesting fact that about Macy is that I got her and very soon after I got pregnant with Sophie. And very soon after that, 
Gabby claimed Macy for her own and they were inseparable. They grew up together. They were a pair to be reckoned with. There's so much history in Macy and our lives and our girls growing up. So it'll be sad when she does eventually leave us, but I'm grateful to have had 14 amazing years. So happy birthday, Macy. Happy birthday, Sam. Okay, okay, I have an answer. Julia is like used like a suffix and uh, hydro is a form of like a pyrute. So it's phobia? No, it's hydro. Hydro? So Gabby says hydro. I don't know. It doesn't give you like an actual answer. But that's what she thinks. Okay, and then I have the answer book. This is this is the answer book. We were right. Gabby and I both thought that both hydro, hydro and, phobia. and phobia were the root words. All right. No, like we were that. right. No, All right, go. It doesn't say anything. Yeah, go finish finish your work, sister. I remember long ago dreaming of standing in this window and looking out and seeing our horses through the window and today I'm really enjoying looking out there and watching the horses Do you guys see Chino pushing Penny off Chino is a kind good quiet leader much like our leader in our family Sam is uh, very similar to Chino in personality so here's a quick update on our rocks we've taken them out of the vinegar we washed them in vinegar and so this is an update I should show them to you guys in light um, but they are spectacular You'd be able to see them better with bright light, I think. Um, so even the black one, you can see like all the sparkles and all the glitter. This one, even though it's huge, it's so cool. Like it's got some really interesting stuff in there. And then uh, the girls got a lot more of the crystals. These are Sophie's. These aren't all of Sophie's, but I've showed you these before. This is Sophie's crystals. And you recharge them by putting them in the moonlight. Isn't that cool? And these are Gabby's. She got some really cool ones. Look at how white that is and how bright though. So bright. And this is such a soft rock. Do you see it like comes apart? But she got all these little teeny tiny crystals that are really cute. And I think she should make them into a necklace like look at how cool that is this is by far my favorite one out of all of them it is so cool it looks like feathers in there anyway that is the conclusion of our rock mining expedition that Sam took us on a, on a field trip so it is almost Christmas. Okay, it's not almost Christmas. It's almost Sophie's birthday. It's almost Christmas. Like now is the time that we, as parents, Sam and I are thinking about like what we need to, to buy. And you guys know like everything that we have is equestrians. And what do we need? Like, what is it? Like, I really want to get the girls new tack trunks this year for Christmas. And um, I really like I have this brief list, but what is it? that you think that we should have. Do you have any ideas? Like we're stumped about what to buy our kids for, for Christmas this year. I thought that since so many of us are in the same boat that we're trying to like think of things to buy our kids for Christmas that I could share with you guys, that we could share with you guys like our most important pieces of tack that we use all the time. I don't mean like saddles and stuff like that. I mean things that we absolutely love that have changed our lives. So you guys know most of them anyway because we always share them, but I have two things that have changed my life that I think are really so super important. So the first thing is my rope halter. And the reason that I love it is because it has changed how I work with my horse on so many levels. I know I've shared this before so many times but my horse was always fighting the bit and she was always like I tried so hard to find the right bit for her and she was telling me all along that she hated the bit and I could never find one but when I switched to the rope halter it and I've tried bitless bridles as well I tried a side pull and I tried a leather one that was actually a side pull as well and nothing made her happy until I got the bitless bridle. And the reason why I like it so much is that she respects it way more than she ever respected the bit. And she enjoys it so much more. It freed her up to just enjoy all the things we were doing together. Before I switched to that rope 
Palter, she was always so focused on the bit and how uncomfortable it was for her and that changed things for me. Sophie, what is it that you love so much? Like, I know, but what is it that changed your life working with her and riding? I don't know. Is there one piece of tack that you use all the time? Her halter. Her halter. Is there something that you use when you're working with her that changed your life? Blind ride stuff? So, I'll ask both the girls the exact same question. Like, what is one piece of task, tack that changed your life with your animal, with your horse? I also have one other thing that I absolutely love so much and that I feel has changed our lives and will potentially change our lives and our riding for the rest of our journey with horses. The laser thing. You like the laser thing? Yeah, Willow likes it. Yeah. Do you notice a change in your horse when you use it on them? Yeah. Do you notice how they feel when they're having it done? She likes the Domer cold laser. And I didn't tell her to say that. I had no idea that she thought of that. I just remembered it. This is not a sponsored video, guys. But yeah. Sometimes I forget things. And when I try and think of them. Well, I put I you can't. on the spot and it's hard to like think of one thing. And then I finally think of something. Yeah. And it makes sense. Yeah. All right. So let's go tell Gabby and pick her up and get ready and go out for lunch. Come on. Let's go. You have everything you need for to go to the barn. You have the stool. No. Where's the stool? Outside. I honestly would love if you posted in the comments below what is the one thing that has changed your life and your journey with horses. Obviously having the equipment to cut our own hay has been life changing for us and for Sam and having our truck and our trailer so we can go places which hopefully we're going to have that yeah, again soon. Perfect. All the horses are coming. They're like, wow, Sophie, pick me, pick me. <laughs> so he's like, no. <laughs> Trapped. Okay, Come here. <laughs> it poured rain today. It's actually so nice now. There's hardly any flies. Huh. Got you. <laughs> we did it. Teamwork makes the dream work, you guys. I'm going to go and show you my other favorite thing that I think changed our lives or will potentially change our lives and there's lily there's beautiful lily oh is it still alive it can be traumatizing to a child <laughs> Gabby, thumper <laughs> thumper the cat thumper, finish your meal. <laughs> yeah there he is he's like you're welcome i saved some for it <laughs> it's a chipmunk Finish. Don't let him lick you. Your dang meal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we need, to, we need to kidnap this cat. He's such a hunter. You're probably wondering, what is it, Laura? What do you love? We're going to take those saddle pads home so that we can count them in our saddle pad contest. It's not in there. It's actually in this locker. And it is missing it's actually missing oh here it is falling over so this is the other thing that i think is such a huge gift you might be just thinking laura it's just a regular old half pad and it might seem like it but it is a shimmable half pad and i know you can buy other brands of them and they're probably just as good but i love the versatility of this one because the shims are so different than any other mm -hmm. shims i've ever seen no I don't want it. That is disgusting. It only has two legs. Come on, hurry up. Get groomed. You got to get ready. So this is it. The reason I love this so much is because Sophie's saddle was designed for Finn, who's a big, who was a big horse, big heavy horse. He's a pony, but he was a large, at the top of the large ponies, and he was big, and sturdy and stocky. And any horse ever in the history of our lives that don't fit her saddle that the saddle is too big. This actually is shimmable and can make any saddle, make her saddle fit any horse as long as the horse isn't bigger. And the chance of finding a horse that is bigger um, and wider than how her saddle fits, I don't think is, is gonna happen because it is big. It even fits Chino, her, her saddle. But anyway, I love this shimmable pad. It's a CWD one. I am so grateful to have it. We learned a lot getting this saddle pad. Like we learned a lot about how this pad can really save the life of Sophie's saddle until 
a time comes when she has like her forever horse and she wants to get a custom one for him. Look, Brennan's lending us this. Do you like it? Yeah. I like it too. So you guys know that this is a hackamore. We have bitless bridles and we have rope halters. I don't know what the difference between all of them are other than they all don't have a bit. I didn't tell you guys, but one of our viewers, I think it was Susan, I think it was Susan, she said that when she watched Chino ride after he got his new pads on his feet, that he looked off, which is what we were looking at. Like he sometimes is like that after he gets his feet done. He's really sensitive on uneven ground. Like the horse is sensitive with everything. He's sensitive about his feet being done and he's sensitive about the uneven ground. And she said she covered his head and he looked good. So she said, take away the bit and start with that and try and figure this out. And that's like the smartest yeah, idea like that. that I've ever heard. Wow, you're hot. Uh -huh. You are red. Uh -huh. Tell them what you said to me. I don't know. You said this is the best lesson I ever had. And after the last lesson, she said this is the best I'm lesson the I ever had. Died. Yeah, every lesson she has since she hit her head has been the best lesson she's ever had. So I'm thinking that she hit her head in a good way. Yeah. So anyway, stay tuned. We're going to be trying Chino at home in a hackamore and even a rope halter. Like we're going to try them all, see what one he likes and see if it makes a difference for him. My arms are jello. Your arms are jello? Yeah. You're all sweaty. Mm -hmm. Like if you guys think she looks red, it's because she's hot. She, she goes out there and she works. Yeah. And Kathy's like, Ugh. I have to work even more because Emery's lazy. Yeah. Basically, okay, every lesson horse is lazy. Other what? You're redder than me. Oh, yeah, you're not I'm even red. red. You. you must have been lazy. Just no, joking. I'm sweating. I have to sweat to prove it. Yeah. Oh she God. doesn't turn red. Yeah, well, that's because you were wearing a hoodie. <laughs> so, Gabby, is there any kind of tack that you love? Oops. Saddle pads because they have color. So, yeah. Gabby loves saddle pads. She loves. What's your favorite brand of saddle pad right now? Ogilvy. Ogilvy. They're both into Ogilvy. Yeah, Here, let's take all of our saddle home saddle pads home. Do you know what my navy blue Ogilvy is? Those are all of my extras that I can No, but we can find it. I can't read. Yeah, I know. I, so I have asthma and Gabby has asthma. <laughs> Chances are you'll get asthma. I didn't get it until I was older. And I only get it when... It's going to be cold. Yeah, it's going to feel so good. I only get it when... I exercise and look at you guys. I, I knew it. I thought a storm is coming. It says yeah, it's I heard that hurry up. We have to hurry. Riding. It's supposed to be like a really bad storm. Horse number two. All right. Whoa. They're always like, here, you hold the horse. I'm like, eh, okay, but they take advantage of me. Well, because you don't actually hold them. I am holding them. Can you tell? <laughs> When it's hot, we always wash them down after. We just wipe them down. But you guys hear the thunder? It's coming. We are headed out for Sam's birthday. Can you put her head up? All right, Lily. Don't get, me, don't get me in trouble, Lily. Don't get me in trouble. See, when you let them eat grass, if anybody knows our boy Storm, where is he always when the rain comes? <laughs> That's him. He's like, I can't come out, it's raining. <laughs> Don't you know that you're beautiful? Just the way